video, I'm going to show you how to make links on a Physiopedia page. It really is quite simple. First, you will need to make sure you are logged in. You can do this, you'll know this when you see the tools and the edit drop down menu bars and also the option to log out. So we know we're logged in, so let's find a page to add a link to now. So we're going to use the Gluteus Maximus page. So we're logged in, let's choose the edit drop down menu bar and the edit option. Now that we are logged in, you will actually see that the page changes and at the top of our page, we will see the edited navigation toolbar. This is what we need to add our link. So let's, there's the link tool there. So let's come out of that, I don't know what happened there. So let's go down and choose some text to link to. So um, I'm thinking of linking to the hip joint. Now I know that the information on the hip joint is on the hip anatomy page. So I highlight my text and I go up to the top, click on the link option, and I can see that the text comes up in red. This means that the page does not yet exist on Physiopedia, but we know that. Um, so we want to link to the hip anatomy page. But the other thing to mention is that when we're linking to our text, the search option is case sensitive. So there we can see hip anatomy. But if I was actually to go to the top and type in anatomy with a small a, we will see that the text actually disappears. That's because our page actually is hip anatomy with a capital A. So let's delete that text. And let's go down and click to our page. So we want hip anatomy. So let's go down and we can click on that. And that will add a link. So if we click next to our text now, we will see that the text has gone blue. So let's save the page. Type in what we did. So we added a link. Now, if we go back to the top of our page, scroll all the way up to the top, a little bit more, we can see there that the text we added to is now in blue. And if we click on that, that will actually now take us to the hip anatomy page where we can scroll down and find out more about the hip joint. But we can also add not just to, to link to Physiopedia pages, but we can add links to external pages too. So I'm going to add a link to my user profile page. So let's log in, let's um, choose the edit option mode there. We're already logged in. So we go down, I'm actually going to link to my Twitter account. So let's scroll down to the bottom. Now what I could do is just add the, the URL next to my to my Twitter there. So let, let's just paste my Twitter account address in there. And you can see that the page doesn't actually look quite tidy. This is how it looks. So let's make this a link instead. So we highlight Twitter and we go up to the link option. This time we choose external link. Now you'll see that the box is red. That's because this doesn't actually recognize Twitter as an external address. So what I need to do in there is add the URL. So there's a URL for my Twitter account. You can now see that it's turned blue. So let's click done. And we'll go up to the top of the page and click save. So now when we actually look, so let's go up a little bit, we can now see that my Twitter account is in blue. And if I click on this, it will take us to an external site, my Twitter account. So using the URL, the external link option and not adding the URL to the page is really great. We can link to any external page that we want. So for example, social media on our profile page, or we can link to resources. So if we've added an outcome measure, or if there are any other useful resources on a page. 
It's really as simple as that. So adding links really isn't difficult.